It's a lot of messages. Whew. I don't know if I, okay, first, first, first critique. I don't know if I've ever messaged a girl this long without either getting her on a date or getting on a phone. Okay, so okay, so you use you use my old school message from 2015. Yeah, you're adorable. Fingers crossed, you're not crazy. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, it's a good message. It's a good message. Um, I, 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 yeah, I, I do feel like I'll, I'll give a critique on it. It is a very good message, and that's the reason I, I did use it back in the day. I do feel like there are more guys doing this kind of message now than there used to be. So it's a little less effective than it used to be, but it is still definitely effective. Um, in general, if your message can reference something slightly more specific about them, so it looks less liney, that's good, right? So if it can be like, um, <clears throat> um, like if she happens to be doing a certain thing, you say like this thing is adorable or whatever, or, yeah. or um, yeah, just any any kind of personal reference or anything that's actually about the profile in any way, especially because it's hinged, so you have a lot to work with, yeah, sure. is better. Also, um, another quick note: um, so you you liked on and messaged on a photo, yeah. which is fine in some cases, but if you can like a message on a prompt, and again, this is completely unresearched by me, okay. but everything in my in, in everything I know about girls and, and, and neediness and all that kind of stuff. Um, if you can like on a verbal message, like one of their prompts rather than their picture, my intuition is that has to be better. And that's what I usually try to do personally yeah. um, for the reason that it just seems less superficial. Mm -hmm. And it also is a better conversation starter because you can comment on that has content, whereas the picture just is her face. Right. right? And so again, your adorable fingers crossed you're not crazy would be actually a fine message in a way on a Tinder profile where there's only photos and no text because you have nothing else to work with. But I'm sure this girl had prompts. I don't, I, I, can't, I don't know if I can go through and read her prompts. I won't do that. But like, I'm sure she had plenty in her prompts that you could have could have picked. Do you want me to actually go through it? OK, oh, yeah. let's see. We'll look quickly at her prompts. Don't, don't hate me if I trip over nothing. OK, so you could tease her about being a klutz, potentially. Um, I won't shut up about Corey and EastEnders. That's like, like some kind of like, yeah, some kind of some kind of girl drama show, something like that. UK, UK, okay, whatever, okay, fair enough. Um, the best way to ask me out is by not being a cringe bag. <laughs> That's a funny one. That's a funny one. Um, but yeah, you could you could tease her on like um, like the, the don't that best way to ask me out is not being a cringe bag. You could tease her on what kind of guy she normally attracts potentially. Um, you could tease her on her taste, and, and you could say like I um, I'll take you on a date, as well, but we're gonna have to improve your taste in television or something. I mean, there's all kinds of things you could do that are like more interesting than just like taking a picture of her face, right? right? So you could have chosen more interesting subject matter to begin with, all right? But the, the message itself is fine. It's I've I've used that message very very successfully, so it's fine. Okay, so fingers crossed, not crazy. Just can't, can't promise anything. Haha, -ha makes it interesting. Um, <clears throat> that's okay, um, but you're kind of closing the loop, okay? So you created this um, like tension, right? I like you, but I don't like you. I like this about you, I don't like this about you. Haha -ha makes it interesting is entirely positive. So your first message was more interesting than your second message, okay. right? So you, you, there's less tension now. She still responds, ha ha, uh, no, I'm not really, don't think so anyway. Okay, so she's still responding essentially the first message that's still positive. Um, I can tell you're not, don't worry. So again, you're very, you're, you're, so you started out creating this tension, I'm not sure about you. And then you said, no, you're okay. No, I'm sure about you. Do you know what it is? Because everyone fucking takes it so seriously. Obviously, I don't think you're crazy. Uh-huh. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of different ways here. So there's a lot of different versions of crazy. Right? I mean, I don't know. You guys, you guys use the word mental, too, which is like mental is like stupid, right? Not like crazy. Or is mental? Mental is both, right? Uh, you guys, I don't even know the, yeah, know the British words. More, it's more crazy than, more crazy than, than like it's not like yeah. mentally dumb. Okay. Um, <clears throat> anyway, the point is... I don't know the exact connotation of crazy in the UK, but it's pretty similar to the United States. There's crazy like you'll end up in jail, crazy like you'll end up in an asylum, crazy like we're gonna have a fun Friday night, right? And so something like that where you're differentiating the kind of crazy but still keeping some tension maybe yep. um, would be a better way than just saying, no, no, I know you're not. Because you're basically just taking back what you said, right? You're taking, taking away the tension. Um, and then she said, and then so now she gives you a shit test, right? She just said, you can tell, um, you can tell I'm not crazy by a few pictures, how is that then? Right, so, yeah, and I mean, it's true. She telling you're crazy or telling you're not crazy about a few pictures is, is a little, she has a point. Right. But <clears throat> when, she, when there was tension, she wasn't giving you the shit test. Now that you're too, a little too needy, right, now she's giving you the shit test. Um, <clears throat> nah, it's because you're not yet vaccinated. That's why you're not crazy. <laughs> yes, F that. I will say, I don't know how it is here. Certain topics I would stay away from in messaging <clears throat> because they're very polarizing. The odds of it going dramatically badly off of a topic like that 
I mean, this one went well. She said, yes, F that. So she took your, she's in the same, same direction as you. And I, su I suppose if she's not vaccinated, it's probably a safe bet that whatever. It's a safer bet. But generally, I would stay away from those topics because those are the kind of topics that, like, you don't want that kind of tension. Right. Um, but no, she, yes, F that. LOL jokes. Uh, you're low-key adorable, though. What's your story? Okay, that's good. You're getting to the point more. Adorable, not heard that one before. It's funny because you've said adorable twice, and she said it hasn't heard it before. Um, my story, don't know what to say. Not really a good one. Not really a good one yet. What's yours? Okay, so you kind of asked her to qualify, and she didn't have much to qualify, or she didn't know how to qualify, but she tried, mm -hmm. right? Um, generally, both in messaging and in person, if you ask a girl a tough, because what's your story is kind of a tough question, because it's very vague, right? It's actually hard to answer something that vague. If you said, what's your story? Like, for example, what do you, what's your ambition, or what are you trying to do? Or what's your story like, where would you like to travel? What's your story? What do you do for a living? That's very easy to answer, because you've made it much more... Um, uh, much more directional, right? Um, so if she's trying to answer, she's trying to qualify to you, you could just like clarify, like for example, X, Y, Z. And you can pick something non-boring. Don't say, for example, what do you do for a living? Because that's boring. But for example, like what are your dreams? Or for example, if you could take a trip anywhere, what would you do? You have, you have an open-ended opportunity to ask any like cool, good, open-ended question right here, right now. And if she responds well to it and qualifies to you, it would actually be a decent time to start moving it towards a number. So you don't want to be taking super, super long messaging online, OK? Why? Well, because um, number one, if the girl's messaging a lot online, she's probably messaging not only you, but other guys online. And in the meantime, while you're messaging her, she's going on dates with other guys. Let's say you're busy messaging her. The messaging's great. She goes on a date with another guy, and she sleeps with him. Kind of takes the shine off your messaging, yeah. right? And it might just even take, take her off the app, right? So you're going back and forth on the app. She's not even on the app anymore. She's doing other stuff. That's number one. Um, number two, the app doesn't notify the same way a phone does. And so you'll tend to get um, less answers there. And again, girls are getting a lot of matches on here. So you're kind of getting lost in the mix. Like you pop up in the message and she's seeing you and she vaguely remembers you, but she doesn't remember your whole conversation. She just sees like, you know, you're one of seven different messages. I know this because when I'm messaging a lot of girls, I sometimes forget what came before in the conversation. I have to like scroll up and reread it and re-remember re it, right? Um, so it's just good to get them off the app sooner rather than later rather than messaging in endlessly on there. Okay, but so anyway, she's confused. Um, ha ha, never thought of your life as a story. Yeah, so now it's, now it's getting into some philosophical what is a story, what's not a story, right? You've, got, you've gotten your first message, you're adorable, fingers crossed you're not crazy. Very man to woman, very much about you and her. Yeah. Now you're into philosophically, ha ha, never thought of life as a story. Right? You've, you've gone kind of backwards here, right? right? Okay. Uh, no, suppose it could be though. Lots of holidays and festivals, craziness so far. Maybe getting a tad old for that now though. What's your story? I'm hoping it's a good one. So now here you're in a... You're in a good and bad spot when she's asking your story. Um, on the one hand, you're being put on the spot and you're being asked to qualify, which is not good. And your story needs to be kind of good. Um, and also, you don't want it to be try hard, right? Now, if you have a great answer to this, you're still fine. But it is a tough one to answer. Um, OK, recent, uh, da, 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 da. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of skim through this a little bit here. So now you're getting into a bunch of logical stuff. Yeah. OK. I'm just going to see how, does, it, does this actually succeed into a number or something, or just flake off? Uh, well, that was. Oh, you, you're still talking with her. Yeah. OK, cool. Um, I'll look at the rest of this with you, with you later at the very end. Um, definitely, it's gone a very, very long time, and she's messaged you a lot. My main advice for the end of it is you want to actually like, get off of the messenger, because yeah. she, she's, if she's messaged you that much, she clearly likes you. And it did get a little more flirty towards the end, which is good. OK? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, big thing to remember, when a girl matches with you, there's a couple things you know. Number one, she likes you, at least in that moment. And number two, she's single and looking. All right? um, and the whole reason for being on an app is to get off the app. All right? That's what she's there for. That's what you're there for. So you should message with the assumption that she likes you and the assumption that a date is forthcoming. All right? um, and that will be the case most times. And if you believe it and if you're implying it, that does tend to help it happen. Right? If you're messaging with the idea that, oh, I got this match, now I have to impress her, that's not so good. You should message with the idea of, I got this match, that means we both like each other. It's normal and natural for us to go on a date. And now you can't just ask her, oh, I mean, you could actually just flat out ask the girl on a date on the first message, and you would have some success with that. It's not the smartest way to go. You do want to have some conversation back and forth first, but you do want to get to the point quickly. Right? You don't want to be like messing around and hemming and hawing and stuff like that. And you don't want, I don't know how many pages of messages that was. That was a lot. That, that was a lot. That was within an hour? Yeah. If that was within an hour, you should have been like thinking about like, what are you doing right now? Let's make plans, that kind of thing, for sure. If she was messaging back that quickly. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, you should be making plans for like tonight. I tried it towards the end, yeah. Okay, fair enough. You'll see it later. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, but try and stay, try and keep it like, mm -hmm. keep it more, um, more Mandarin, especially if it's, if it's that fast. Yeah.